Welcome to our worldwide audience. We appreciate your tuning into our station and watching this interview. I am Evan Vischer in Folsom, California, sunny Folsom, California, where it's always beautiful. And we have here in our studio with us tonight two missionaries of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. They have kindly consented to take uh, time out of their schedule and come visit with us and answer a few questions about the church and about what they're doing here. Now, this, this uh, video interview will be seen by their parents and their family and friends, their aunts and uncles, friends of the church who might not yet be a, a members, and their little brothers and sisters. So uh, the, everyone is welcome to watch this, and we're just going to get a spirit for what these brethren are like and, and what they've learned on the mission and what joy they have in serving the Lord Jesus Christ. So on our left, your left, we have Elder Inman from Lehigh, Utah. And on our right, we have uh, Elder Robinette from Bountiful, Utah. Bountiful, Utah. Great. Thank you again for coming. We will start tonight's interview session with Elder Robinette. So let's, uh, Elder Robinette, what have you liked best about your mission? Uh, I've definitely uh, enjoyed the people. Uh, I've enjoyed uh, being able to um, uh, get to know so many uh, different people in, throughout the uh, areas I've served in. Um, I've been able to meet a lot of uh, outstanding uh, individuals who uh, have really applied the gospel to their lives and uh, I've learned a lot from them and um, I think that's one of the things I enjoy most about being out here is Great. meeting new people. Well that's wonderful, thank you for sharing that. Do you have an exciting conversion story you'd like to share? Uh, well, um, I do have a conversion story um, whether it's exciting or not is up to you, but um, uh, I it was almost it was about a year ago, and um, I, I was asked by a friend if I had ever read the Book of Mormon, and um, I hadn't. And so even though I had been a member my whole life, I had never really read the Book of Mormon for with the intent of finishing it or uh, receiving an answer from it. And uh, so I started reading it, and I started reading it uh, two or three hours a night um, for the first few days. And uh, I was praying one night, and I just realized that I needed to go serve a mission. Um, and so uh, I started preparing, and now I'm here. Well, that's great. So one of the great conversion stories is your own conversion. That will affect you all your life, and your children and grandchildren. And that's wonderful. Is there anything you'd like to say to your mom? Well, uh, I love you. Um, you. You've really impacted everything about me, and I've, you've really helped me to grow into who I am today. And I'm, I'm, I'm really missing you out here. And it's kind of funny how a lot of times uh, I didn't recognize how much you meant to me until I wasn't around you all the time. So I want to tell you that I love you That's and uh, that I'm doing good stuff out here. I've seen that in my own life too. I sometimes don't appreciate people enough when I'm around them and then I realize later how much they meant. Possibly you have younger brothers or sisters. Uh, having had the experiences you've had, what would you say to them or other young people to excite them about serving a mission? Well, I would just say you don't need to wait until your mission to start. You can become a missionary a long time before you start your mission. I kind of thought I, I, I wasn't able to, I didn't have the ability to do these kind of things and preach the gospel without uh, being a missionary and having a name tag. But you can you can do all that a long time before your mission. And you do that by uh, acting uh, and following the example of Jesus Christ and being willing to serve others and to share your happiness with them. Um, and that's my advice, I would say, just uh, always be willing to serve others. Um, it seems hard but the more you do it, the more fun it becomes, and it's one of the most amazing uh, joy. It's, it's brought me the greatest joy I've ever had in my life. Hmm. Wow. What are you doing that your mom would be proud of? I'm spreading the gospel, and I'm uh, doing everything I can to make sure that, um, I, that uh, I'm worthy. I'm making sure that... Uh, I'm not wasting the Lord's time. 
I want to help other people out here. I want to do a lot of good work um, and to be an effective tool in the hands of the Lord. Um, and uh, I'm doing my best to do that. Wow. So all we can do is our best. What can you tell us about your testimony of the sacred book, the Book of Mormon? Well, I know that the Book of Mormon is true. I know that it was translated by Joseph Smith by revelation uh, from God. Um, I know that it's the truest book there is and that uh, no, anyone can get closer to God by reading it. Um, I know that it has a lot of promises and I've seen uh, as I've, made, as I've uh, committed to make those promises and keep those promises um, I've been blessed immensely. Uh, I know that the Book of Mormon was written uh, through prophets uh, by God and that uh, by applying its teachings we can be happy we can learn to get uh, we can learn and grow closer to Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ mm, so true how do you feel about the Savior of the world your Savior and mine and everyone else's Jesus Christ I love him I love my Savior I I really I recognize how much he means to me so much more now that I'm on my mission because I've seen him work wonderful things through other people and in the people I've taught and I've realized how amazing he is and that he loves us unconditionally no matter what we've done we can be forgiven and he'll always be there for us he knows how we feel and through him we can overcome anything he can make us amazing. He can make us greater than we can make ourselves. And I know that's true. Um, I know that he's here for us. That's great. Well, that that's, wraps it up for my questions. Do you have any closing thought or comment that has occurred to you that you want to say? Well, um, I just want to uh, say thank you to all the people that have uh, in, impacted me in my life and been effective tools in the hand of the Lord to help shape me into who I am today because um, if it wasn't for um, the impact of the people around me and my savior, I, I don't know where I'd be. Um, and uh, I know that uh, through Christ, we can all come back. We can all be happy. And I, I know that. And uh, say these things in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. Thank you so much for your powerful testimony. And thank you both for coming to our studio tonight. Uh, we really appreciate your time and we know how much you have to do. And sharing this message with people is a wonderful gift you're giving them. Thank you again. Take care.